So the next feature we're going to look at is uh, probably one of the most exciting features that uh, um, the Windows 10 phone operating system has, which is uh, Continuum. The idea behind Continuum, as I explained earlier on, is that it can, it can be a device that could replace your laptop or desktop PC uh, when you're back in the office. So we're going to um, get rid of my 950 for this next demonstration, and we're going to actually dock the uh, Elite X3. So we're just going to dock the phone and show you Continuum. So phone goes into its dock like that. I also have uh, over here um, the Microsoft foldable keyboard. So I'm just going to open that up, put that on my desk, and that will automatically um, Bluetooth connect to the phone, and also my Surface mouse, which I've also connected to the phone as well. So now you can hopefully see on the screen that I'm able to access the start menu from the phone operating system, just like a normal Windows 10 PC, although the features are cut down quite significantly. So I'm just going to open up Word there, and I can just type in some text on my keyboard, which hopefully you can see working fine there, and all the normal features that you'd expect uh, for kind of the, the cut down phone operating system version of Word are there. Now obviously this isn't the full version of Microsoft Word, so you can see some of the features are, are obviously not available. So in terms of closing down the application, I can obviously minimise it or close the application just like I could on a normal Windows PC. I have access to my email and my calendar as you'd expect and I have access to things like photographs and videos, things like iPlayer. You will notice that some of the apps are actually greyed out on the start menu, so you can see here things like Adobe, so these are the mobile only versions that don't work and don't support Continuum, but there are a number of applications obviously that do support Continuum experience. We also have Cortana on, on here, so I can ask uh, Cortana just like I would be able to do on my phone, and she'll obviously pull together my appointments and things that I might be interested in for the day. I have the option to tile uh, the various uh, windows that might be open. In this case, I've only got Word open. And obviously, I have the option to run things like um, Internet Explorer. So if I just go into uh, Cortana there and type in Edge, uh, what I'll find is Microsoft Edge there, which is obviously the, uh, the web browser. And you can see there um, the, the BBC homepage, uh, which is accessible uh, just as if it's a normal PC, so I can obviously click on whatever I'm interested in. You'll see this is rendered obviously for mobile, uh, because obviously this is the, the version that would normally run on a, a PC. I can also, the trailer that I was showcasing earlier on, on the two phones, I can now showcase that, uh, that sort of trailer um, appearing there on the screen. I'll just take that back a little bit, but you can get an idea of the quality of the phone and how quick the phone is. So its ability to play the video straight through uh, a nice, nice high, high resolution uh, image there. So if I just escape out of that now, it's slightly tricky because the mouse disappears, and just close that particular uh, tab down. But that gives you an idea of um, the experience. Uh, some of the features like side-by-side -side applications are also not available, which I, I, I use all the time. So that would be a bit of a, a bit of a challenge for me not having those features. But as a device which you might use occasionally instead of your replace your, your normal PC, it's it's certainly a usable uh, technology.